hello guys i'm here with another cleaning video and today we are starting by the removal of our christmas tree here i'm with my boys and we're just going to remove all the christmas decorations um not everything and we're gonna keep the banner over the window um some minor decor until it's um like way past i would say maybe over january and then in february i'll remove everything i don't know we'll see but right now we will be removing the christmas tree the tree is quite dead by now we actually made a small mistake when we took it down um, when we brought it home we forgot to put it into water so it wasn't drinking any water basically the whole time we had it in our house so all the branches are drooping the needles are making quite a mess on the floor and it's just literally everywhere so this is one of my least favorite jobs around christmas time i just really don't like doing this but it's necessary and i don't even mind removing the um, ornaments but it's just the taking down the lights it makes the needles all fall down it's just it's, it's all um prickly and uh, dry and uncomfortable and just removing the tree on its own is just not a, not one of my favorite things to do but it's it's necessary so we gotta do what we have to do right so that's what I'm gonna do, removing the tree and then we're just gonna start on with our cleaning. Moving on to our bedroom, I start by removing all the wrapping paper where I was storing them under the bed and starting to like reorganize the games that we normally keep under the bed and then I'm just going to get rid of, um, take off all the linens so I can wash them all. I'm not doing a super deep clean today, I'm just tackling some of the chores that I need to do and um, this is one of them i just want to wash all the sheets and just do a vacuum just clean up um rent the house around so yeah that's what i'm doing right now with my kids So while I'm vacuuming here, I just wanted to mention that I also have loads of laundry to do and I will be tackling that later with the girls. But so right now I'm just vacuuming and then helping the boys clean up their room a little bit. 
um, somehow my younger son, um, duvet cover always ends up on the floor when he sleeps and I have no idea how he does that. So I'm trying to tuck it in um, as much as I can under the mattress so it stays put when he sleeps. So yeah, and yeah, my daughter is always there to help and yeah. So that's what we're doing right now is just cleaning up the boys room right here. Moving on to the main bathroom, this is where I actually noticed that the cabinets underneath the sink were quite disorganized, quite messy. It's been a while since I did like my deeper clean and I decided I just need to tackle this cabinet even though I'm not doing a deep clean the rest of the house, I just need to do it, I just, I just couldn't let it go. So I decided to organize all the cabinets underneath here and this is actually where we keep most of our art supplies for the kids and like extra cords like the speakers um basically everything random kind of like this is a good storage place here underneath the sink i know it's not a common area to store things but it works for us so for now at least and so yeah i decided to just tackle and organize all these things and i'm quite proud of myself that i did because now it's at least one thing in the house is organized and it makes me feel good at least if i can do something once a week i'll get things done right like once little by little So all we have left is the living room and in here all we need to do is basically just organize the books a little bit and some toy baskets that the kids will tackle a little later to organize and all we need to do is just vacuum and clean up some spots that we need to clean on the rug and that's it. Um, I did put a tiny tree here on the piano and we had this tree in the hallway before and since it's still like Christmassy time and not New Year's yet, I decided to, since like, I don't know, I just decided to keep it here for now and decorate it with a little ornaments and I will be removing it after New Year's. So it just keeps the house looking a little more festive even though Christmas is over, but I just, I don't know. I could use a little cheer here and I think we all agree, I don't know, I'm just kind of sad that Christmas is over and yeah, but it's still uh, a little decor here and once New Year's arrives, the new year, we will be removing all the Christmas decor including the tiny little tree 
and the rest of the decor for Christmas and then we'll be waiting for springtime and yeah so that's all for today i hope you guys enjoyed and i will see you guys next time bye now